The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 28 and 29. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 22, 1973, in London, England. Translation Arjuna said, My dear Krishna, seeing my friends and relatives present before me, in such a fighting spirit, I feel the limbs of my body quivering and my mouth drying up. My whole body is trembling and my hair is standing on end. My bow Gandiva is slipping from my hand and my skin is burning. Dishta imam sajanam Arjun is a great warrior fighter and for a kshatriya to kill one is not very difficult task. The kshatriyas are trained up. Hunting, hunting is allowed for the kshatriyas. Just like medical practitioners, they are and trained them how to practice surgical operation on dead body. It is not possible to, of course, for a gentleman to push knife in someone's body. It is naturally very difficult thing. Rogues and thieves they can stab. So, as these doctors, medical men, surgeons are trained up to operate their knife on the dead body to see where are the nerves. Similarly, chhatriyas are also allowed for being trained how to kill. Chhatriya means khata, khata means injury. And tra means prayate, saves. A khatri has to save the citizen from being injured by others. He is called chhatri. Brahmana means one who knows Brahma, the supreme. So, Brahmana, chhatriya, vaisya, sudra, these divisions are there according to quality. Guna karma vibhagas by gun. Gun means quality. And karma means actual operation of the guna. So, Arjuna was a chhatriya trained up by Dronacharya how to keep. This is the non-violence is not the business of the chhatri. There is cowardice. Uh, <coughs> they are taught how to become violent. Otherwise they cannot rule over. Uh, formerly the judgment was given by the king, immediately finished. Not go to the court and wait for the judgment for ten years. In the meantime, everything is finished. Not like that. Anything that regularly the king used to sit in his assembly and all the criminals, culprits, they were judged by the king himself. Sometimes the king had to kill personally with the sword. Uh, even in European countries, the royal orders are trained up. Uh, nowadays it is constitutional, democratic government. The king has no power. Uh, but this is not good for the people. Uh, the democracy is a farce. At least I do not like it, because 
so many rascals simply by getting votes go to the government and what do them know how to rule over therefore at the present moment all over the world there is no good god there is no good god uh, the america was considered to have very good government now we can see the behavior of mr nixon <clears throat> it is not possible formally the chhatriyas uh, they are trained up how to govern govern uh, they were trained up uh, by military men just like dona charjo train or juna dujjadhan all the royal princes were trained up how to kill Uh, not only killing, also according to Shastra, how to rule over. The king's business is to see that everyone in the country they are properly employed and engaged in his own business. That is king's business. There is no question of unemployment. This is government first business. Because if a person is unemployed, then the devils works up. Uh, devils are if he hasn't got to do anything, uh, that is being done now. This man's son, he hasn't got to do anything, so his brain is devils works up. Uh, they are manufacturing so many isms, uh, but everyone should be engaged. This is government first. Business to see a Brahmana is engaged as a Brahmana, a Chhatriya is engaged as a Chhatriya. So Arjun was not a coward; he was a competent warrior. But still, ah, the heart of Buddhi, the bodily concept of life is so strong that Arjun had made Krishna to Sajanam Krishna. My dear Krishna, I have to kill my own man. Huh? What is that own man? Own man means this body is illusory. Huh? Why others have not own man? Everyone is own man because everyone is Krishna's son. So when one becomes Krishna conscious, he can see. Everyone own man, and who is not Krishna conscious, he simply sees own man where there is bodily relations. This is the defect. They are advertising human humanitarian work, philanthropic work, uh, communism, this is, but when there is question of Bodily relationship immediately everything is changed. You know, the communist country, the Kushchev, Kushchev was driven out because he was patronizing his own way. That was the difference. Uh, so you can advertise that I am for everyone, but uh, there is affection for own way. Nepotism. Nepotism is called nepotism. So many big big leaders. Uh, our uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, he was sending his own man as ambassador. Uh, Vijay Lakshmi, a woman, uh, as he was being sent as ambassador, she was high commissioner. Yes. So this own man question is very prominent everywhere. So Arjun is a great warrior. Uh, he could fight all the soldiers, all the uh, fighting men. This is so. The other party, they are also assembled. They are assembled. This is so. With fighting spirit. Uh, 
Other men, if they are not fighting spirit, we can kill very easily. But all men, although they are fighting spirit, still he hesitates. This is all men. So this own manship, in relationship with the body, is the barrier for uh, spiritual understanding. So long this conception of life will exist, that I am this body, and anyone who is related with this body, they are my own man, kinsman, relative. This conception of life is the greatest barrier for advancing in spiritual consciousness. Therefore, the Vedic civilization is so planned that one has to give up this rascal old man conception. That is vairāgya. It is called vairāgya. Jnana vairāgya. Two things required in human life, knowledge and vairāgya, detached. The attachment increases. Ah. First of all, it increases. Humsāṁ sriyāmi sunibhāvame tap. This whole world is based on sex life. A man has got attraction for woman, a woman has got attraction for man. This is nature's bondage. Uh, <coughs> sacral. Uh, and when they are actually united, either by the father and mother or by their own way, that sacral, that attraction increases. Uh, not in the heart. She is my wife. He is my husband. Uh, of course, now that knot is very slack. Formerly it was very strong because the old man was not allowed to mix with any other man, and the man was also not allowed with any other woman. Hmm. Uh, this intermingling had slackened even that knot, vidayaganti. Uh, therefore, in trifle cases, uh, quarrel between husband and wife, there is divorce, because that unity is not very strong now. That is good. Somewhere or other it is slackened. Uh, so this old man say comes from bodily concept of life. Uh, so the Arjuna is preparing the ground how to receive the instruction of Bhagavad Gita. Uh, uh, because a spiritual instruction will begin. Uh, to separate the soul from the body, unless one understands that there is a soul different from this body, there is no spiritual education. This is the basic principle. Uh, if you do not understand what is soul, what is spirit soul, then where is spiritual education? Uh, so, uh, Arjuna, was affected, he said, frankly, Drishtvatu mm. Sajanam Krishna, Jujusam Samapasritam. What is this? I have to kill my own man, Sajanam. Sajanam means own man. Huh? No, no. Sridanti Mamagatrani. Oh, I am Sivari. Mm. Mukhaṅca Parishishyati. My mouth is being dried up. We have got this experience. When there is danger, these things some happens. Uh, so many symptoms. Be putusta sari demi, roma har sastajat, gandhi mangus, sang sati hastyat, takchai va paridayate. As uh, these things, these symptoms, different transformation of bodily 
constitution appears in times of danger. Similarly, such symptoms appear in times of uh, spiritual bliss. That is called ostosatvik vikā. Uh, eight kinds of transformation of the body. So there is so many result energies in our body. They become manifest uh, in due course of time when the mind and intelligence work in different ways. Uh, there is, this is the study uh, how things appear. Uh, it is appearing from intelligence mind. The soul is there and the intelligence and mind creating the situation of the bodily symptoms. Therefore body or the senses are not all. The, the modern education, they think this body is everything. No. Real study is body means the senses. Indriyāṇī parārāhu on gross vision we see this body. Uh, Indriyāni parārāhu, Indriyasthu param mana. But the bodily symptoms are acting because the mind is there. Uh, and mind is working because the intelligence is there. And the intelligence is working because the soul is there. So this is the process. The basic principle is the soul. The soul is acting through intelligence, and the intelligence is acting through mind, and the mind is expressed through the senses. This is the position. So as, as my mind is absorbed in something, some subject matter, my bodily symptoms also will work, or the senses will work, according to that mind. Uh, therefore, uh, for spiritual advancement also, you have to train your mind. Savai mana krishna padar vindayo vachāṁsi vaikuntha gunānu varnan. If you use, first of all fix up your mind. Yoga, yoga means indriya samya Yoga practice means that controlling the mind and the senses. That is yoga practice. Uh, because our mind is very flickering and changing, something accepting immediately, something rejecting immediately, very flickering. Therefore we have to train up the mind. And when the mind is trained up, then automatically your senses will be controlled. If you are strong minded, that I will not accept any food stuff which is not offered to Krishna, naturally your tongue is controlled. Naturally. Bhakti Mahat Thakur has sung, Sarira vidya jala janandriya tahetal jive phali visaya sal. Our this body is a network of nescience or ignorance. Hmm. This body, we have, why we have got this body, material body? Because we have got, we have forgotten Krishna and we wanted to lord it over the material nature. This is her position. Therefore, according to our different desires, we have got different body. Here we are sitting, say, fifty years. Hundred man. Uh, nobody's body will tell you it's other's body. Face and everything. Different. Because every one of us have, has got different desires. Uh, therefore their facial expression, bodily construction, everything is made according to the mind. Uh, so at the time of death also, the constitution of mind will transfer me to another different type of body. The mind will carry the soul. 
These are all explained in the Bhagavad. Jang Jang Bhati Smaran Lopi. Tajatanti Kaleva. So if you train up your mind, uh, that is Krishna consciousness. All is remembering Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hmm? Then it may be possible that at the time of death you remember Krishna and your life is set. Taktadi hang punarjan manaiti, mami ti kam. Immediately you are transferred to Krishna Loka. Uh, this is train. Uh, so we have to think of Krishna always twenty-four hours. Kirtaniya Sadahari, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has recommended. Uh, Karorapi Sahisnuna, uh, Pinagapi Sunichina, Karorapi Sahisnuna, Omanina Manadena, Kirtaniya Sadahari. Because our aim is, if you are serious, of being transferred to the loka, to the place where Krishna is, then we have to train up the mind uh, so nicely that at the time of death I can remember Krishna. Therefore, one great king, Kula uh, Sekhar, he is praying to Krishna, uh, Krishna Tadiya Padapankaja. Hmm? What is that part? Tadiya, Krishna Tadiya Padapankaja. I am just forgetting. The uh, idea is a Kulasekhar king, Kulasekhar is paying to Krishna. Uddaiva Vishatume Manasaraja Hansa. Uddaiva. Prana prayana samay kapabata pittai smaranam kutaste. He is saying, Krishna, I am now in good health, so kindly award me death immediately. Addeva, immediately. So that my mind, who is just like a swarm, he can take pleasure by entering into stream of your lotus flower feet. Krishna's feet is always compared with lotus flower. And the lotus flower has got a stream. And the swans, they take pleasure being entangled with that stream. They go and die into the water. This is a very good sport. So he is taking uh, that sporting, he is comparing his mind as the Rajahansa. Uh, so as the Rajahansa takes pleasure by entangling him in the stream of the lotus flower, similarly, your lotus feet, there is stream. So my mind, which may be compared with the Rajahansa, let it be entangled now. Immediately. Otherwise, I do not know. Prana prayana samayi kapabhata vittari. When everything bodily uh, function will be mixed up, kapabhata vittari, uh, there will be some sound. Uh, how I can be, uh, I will be able to uh, remembering your lotus feet. So let me die immediately. Immediately. Now I am quite fit. Otherwise, uh, I may not be able. This is the point. Oh. The mind should be kept in healthy condition. Sagya, oh. therefore one who dies with full sense, remembering Krishna, oh. he is success. In Bengal it is said, bhajan karo sadhan karo motte jan But you may be very great devotee. That's all right. But it will be tested at your, the time of your death. How you remember Krishna? That will be the test examination. Uh, uh, at the time of death, if we forget, if we become parrot-like, just like parrot, he 
chants also, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. But when the cat catches the neck, cat, 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 no more Krishna. No more Krishna. So artificial practice will not help us. Then cat. That kapapita bhaktai, kanthavaro dhanavidvai, smaranam kutasthe. So from the very beginning we have to practice Krishna consciousness if we are actually serious to go back to home, back to God. Not that, let it be left uh, for two or three years before death. Oh, it is not so easy. It is not so easy. Uh, Prahlad Maharaj recommends therefore, Komaro Asadit Prakta Dharman Bhagavatam. Durlavam Manusan Janmam Tadapi Asurvam Asadam. He was five years old. Krishna consciousness. From the womb of his mother, he heard instruction of Narada. Narada was instructing his mother. He was in the womb. Uh, fortunately, by God's grace, he heard all the instruction of Narada when he was in the womb of his mother. And the result was, from the beginning of his life, he is Krishna consciousness. From the beginning, as soon as he took birth, he is Krishna consciousness. So he was advising his class friend, preaching, they see. He was five years old born, but he was taking the opportunity of preaching. Uh, because the teacher, he is born of a uh, demon family. So all those class friends, they are also sons of demons. So there is no question of Krishna consciousness. But he learned Krishna consciousness from the womb of his mother. So he was trying to preach. Uh, because he was king's son, there was no other opportunity for preaching, and he was a five years old boy. He took the opportunity in the classroom, as soon as the teacher is away, he would preach. He would preach. This is preaching spirit. As soon as you get some opportunity, preach. What is that preach? Uh, preaching, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has advised us. Jare dakho tare kaho Krishna upadesh. This is preaching. Whoever you meet, simply speak of the instruction of Krishna. So if you are advanced, if you know what is the instruction of Krishna by reading Bhagavad Gita, you can preach to others. And if you have not read anything, suppose you do not know anything, then you can also preach. What is that? Oh, just become a devotee of Krishna, my dear sir. That's it. This is also preaching. Oh. Just surrender to Krishna. You go door to door. If you cannot do anything, oh. simply say, my dear sir, you are very good man, oh, you are very intelligent man, chant Hare Krishna. Sakalam eva vihaya dura. This preaching was taught by Prabhupada Saraswati. Dante in Vidhaya Pinatam Padayo Nipatya Kakusatam Kritvacha Ahang Bravini. This is the preaching process. Dante in Vidhaya Pinatam. According to Vedic civilization, if one wants to become very humble and approach another person, then he has to take one straw in the mouth. Tina. So, the preaching process is to take a straw in the mouth, dante nidhayati nakam, padayo nipatya, and falling down on your feet. Dante nidhayati nakam, padayo nipatya, kakusatam kritvacha hang bravini, and flattering you. Sir, you are so great man, you are so intelligent man, this is flattering. Although he is pool number one, we have to flatter like that. Oh, there is no great, greater man like you. You are so intelligent, you are so rich, you are so beautiful. Uh, so all these things, just like the beggars, sometimes you, uh, you become king and he one thinks, oh, he's blessing me. All right, you take one. 
So this flattering is also required. So, kākṣatam kṛtyāca ahaṁ prabhīni. So, the man is, may ask, so why you are so humble and flattering? What is your intention? Uh, tell me. So he is now telling. He is sadhava. Oh, you are great sadhu. He is sadhava. Sakalame eva vihaya dura. You have learned so many nice things. I know that. But keep them out. Please. Sakalame eva. Whatever you have nonsense learned. Rascal them, you have learned. Please take them out. This is my request. Sakalame eva vihaya durat chaitanya chanda charami kurutan uravam. Just hear what Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says. This is my request. This is preaching. This is preaching. Flatter, fall down on his feet and eulogize him as great sadhu, as great intelligent, great rich. Do so that he may little hear. And when he says, What do you want? Then I want this, sir. Whatever rascal dham you have learned, please forget. Uh, because I know you are rascal number one. You have got so many hot boss things in your breast. So you keep them out, please. Sakalame Mabhyaya Dura. Keep them throw out. Long distance. Don't look upon. Then what to do? Chaitanya Chandra Chalami, Guru Tanura. Please hear what Chaitanya Chandra says. Chaitanya Dayar Kataha, Paraho Vichar. Vichar Karile Chitta Kare Samatta. Just try to understand the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And you feel so sublime. Chaitanya Chandra Dayar Kataha. Don't take it blindly. If you are intelligent, just make a judgment uh, what Shaitanya Chandra is uh, telling. Uh, so this is preaching. Uh, this is preaching. So Arjuna has to be a preacher, uh, practical preacher. What is that preaching? That he has to sacrifice everything for Krishna say. That's all. This is preaching. Sakalameva Bihayatra. Arjun will be the greatest example of how he became Krishna conscious. At the last tenth chapter, he will say, Sarvameva Mritangamane, Jadavada Chi Kesava. My dear Krishna Kesava, whatever you say, I accept in total. Without any interpretation, or this is like this, this is like that, this is not very good. Or who could put in that? All rascals they accept this Bhagavad Gita on the principle of or who could put in that? In the na, in the logic, there is a logic or who could put in that. What is that or who could put in that? Could put in means the hen. So hen gives one egg every day. So the man, proprietor of the hen, is considering that this hen is very good, uh, giving every day one egg. But uh, the its mouth is expensive, it eats. So let me cut the mouth. Simply take the egg. So there are rascals, they study Bhagavad Gita on this principle of also cook put in that. Cut these things. Cut these things. Ah. So if you cut the head, there will be no more egg. The rascal does not. Ah. If you cut the head, there will be no more production of egg. So similarly, if you try to study Bhagavad Gita according to your wing, cut this and take this, that is not study of Bhagavad Gita. That is something else. That is something else. Uh, therefore, uh, we have to take from Arjun how he accepted Bhagavad Gita. He said, Sarva metam vitam Krishna, you are the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Whatever you are speaking, 
Whatever you have spoken, I take them as it is. This is study of Bhagavad Gita. So, the uh, hindrance is this hajana. Uh, now he is presenting. He is presenting himself as full number one, although he is not so. But he is creating the ground for uh, Krishna speaking on Bhagavad Gita. This is the principle. Therefore, he is not at all affected by this hajana, by this presenting. This is my problem. Uh, that I have to kill, destroy among Sajana and Krishna by seeing my own kinsman, because I am full number one. Just sātva buddhi kuna piti dhātute. I am calling them Sajana. In Shastra, it is called Sajanākha dosu. Sajanākha dosu. They are all thieves and rogues, but they are clinging as my kinsmen. And practically, suppose in your pocket, there is one hundred dollars. If some pickpocket take it, and if you capture it, then you give it immediately to the police. And when you come home after hard earned money, and when your wife takes her, or you laugh, oh, you have taken all my money. Huh? Ah. <laughs> but the same pickpocket, but the same pickpocket, but because he is sojana, sojana khudosu, Pick pocket in the name of Sajan, he is very much pleased. Ah, my wife has taken, my son has taken, never mind. That's all. Rather, as soon as text, he is giving to the police. Ah. The same business is being done. He is working hard day and night, and they are plundering. Still, they are thinking, they are my Sajan, they are my kinsmen. This is Kali Thank you very much.